Hello! Hi, I am Mrs Hibbard. And I'm Mrs Woods. We are both singing teachers with Durham Music Service and here we are today to celebrate the Song of the Skirn. This has been a long project in the making. It was started over two years ago and it's been an amazing collaborative project between Discover Brightwater, a landscape partnership, Opera North, Orchestras Live and of course Durham Music Service and a big well done to those Darlington schools who helped compose this piece with the help of professional composer Sarah Freestone and musicians from the Orchestra of Opera North they collaborated and wrote this piece and it was all inspired by the River Skern and it's, it's interesting how so much music has come from rivers because they move through so many different places and today I think is like the grand finale of the whole project. We are bringing the River Skern to musical life. <laughs> bringing all the rivers together. <laughs> Absolutely. So this project, it wouldn't really fully come to life without all of these children Absolutely. in their, those sc schools, especially you. Yes, you. Yes, you oh, and her at the front as well. Oh, yes. Definitely. Everybody needs to be ready. So all of you are part of this project, so thank you for joining us. And I just want to reiterate that if you haven't spent much time on this song today, up to today, that's fine, that's isn't it? it? You don't have to have it. We'll get you word for <laughs> yeah. I think by the end of today, we'll all know the song very well. Absolutely. So we will all sing the song in its entirety at the end, where we'll be watching this wonderful video that shows the creative process of the song. So we'll all sing it together then. But first of all, we're going to do some warm-ups. Mm -hmm. We're going to sing together. We'll do a short little ditty song and we'll go over the sections of the song of the, song of the skirt itself. So, Mrs Woods, would you like to take us through some warm-ups? I think we need to stretch out first. So if you're not already standing up, can you make sure you're standing up and have plenty of space around you? And we're going to stretch right up and see if you can reach the ceiling. So I want all the ceilings in all your schools to be getting pushed out. If you've got ceiling tiles, they might be disappearing up, in, if, up into the roof somewhere. So give yourself a really good stretch. Oh, it feels good. It does. And if you feel like you can go a little bit further, get those fingers to wiggle as well. I don't know if you can see my fingers, but they're up there wiggling. So stretch those fingers right up to the clouds. And then just slowly, slowly, slowly let your arms come back. I stretched so hard, oh, I dropped my lanyard. Good stretching, Mrs. Woods. Pop that on there. <laughs> that must have been good stretching. And now we need to give those shoulders a bit of a roll, just to make sure they're not too tight after reaching up so far. And you can go the other way as well. If you've got a bit of space, you can put your arms out to the side, but I don't want to hit Mrs. Hibbard. So Please put don't. your arms out to the side, give them a bit of a flight and then the other way as well. And just make sure everything's loose. So we'll have a bit of a wobble as well. Have a good shake. I like have a good shake. Make sure those knees are nicely loose as well. So give your knees a bit of a knock. You probably can't see mine from there, but I'm sure you know what I mean. And make sure your ankles, give your ankles a bit of a roll. Watch your balance. Oh yes, don't fall over. Don't knock each other over. I'm just kicking a chair here as well. So if you're getting a sound effect, that's just the chair. And then again, another little shake. And then I think we're ready to sing. But before we do, can we just do a bit of breathing as well? So if you put your fingers together and pop them on your tummy and just do a couple of nice deep breaths, but really important at this point, make sure your shoulders stay nice and relaxed. What we tend to find if we say take a deep breath, lots of people go, <gasps> that's not a deep breath. That's a, that's a shoulders up to your ears and your chest up. So let's keep the shoulders and the chest really relaxed and breathe deeply right down into your tummy. So let's see if you can get those tummies sticking out. Breathe in, and then let's make a, let's make a rivery sound. Let's go to breathe out. Okay, breathe in again, and to breathe out. Now we'll just give it a moment now for air circulation, but keep thinking of those breaths that you're breathing in. Make sure they're deep, and not moving your shoulders because you don't want to be getting tense up in your shoulders. We need to think about our deep breaths in the high we section do. of the River Skirm song. Definitely. And also in the low section, there's some long, low um, um, phrases that need to be nice and legato, which Ooh. means smooth. So if we do things nice and smooth, we want to have plenty of breath to support that sound. Absolutely. 
So, as part of our warm-up, we're going to sing a gentle song, and it's another song about um, a river, it's about water. This is a spiritual song called Wade in the Water, and we're not going to sing the entire song, Mrs Woods is going to sing the melody, we're going to teach you, as a warm-up, a really cool ostinato. What is an ostinato, you might say? It's a repeated pattern. So, um, this ostinato just goes like this. Wade in the water, wade in the water, wade in the water, wade in the water. Can we have everyone join in, please? It's just wade in the water. One, two, three, four. Wade in the water, wade in the water, wade in the water, wade in the water. But then at the end, when we're singing it with Mrs. Woods, who's going to sing the tune, we'll join in with God's gonna trouble the water. Why don't you wade in the water? Then we go back to that. Um, ostinato. Shall we sing from God's gonna trouble the water? Two, three, four. God's gonna trouble the water. Why don't you wait in the water? Wait in the water. Brilliant. Okay. Shall we be joining in? I know. So tune in. Stand up tall, everybody. Ooh. You get to sit down very shortly. But I guess I've got a piano. <laughs> I feel very tall now. So, um, we'll start the ostinato and then Mrs Woods is going to sing the melody over the top. And if you like this, you can find this on YouTube or Spotify and you could make this one of your songs in school. One, two, three, four. Wade in the water, wade in the water. Mrs. Woods. Oh, well, I think a soundscape can be anything that includes sounds, but normally I would say it kind of creates images in your mind. So you can usually think of something that the soundscape could represent. So this is the perfect um, song for doing one with, because we've got the rivers combining, we've got all that nature that it's going through. So, um, so any sounds that you think you could connect with the river, so obviously there'll be watery noises, but you might go as far as getting some rustling in the trees that are alongside the skirt. You might have the rushes, you know, bull rushes or something, yes. making wavy sounds. Should we let the girls and boys sit down? Oh, that's a good yes. idea. Feel free to sit down um, in your places while we um, just go over the sections of the song of the skirt. So, of course, it's a soundscape in the yeah. beginning. And somebody yesterday at a school said, are you telling me that you can't go wrong? And I said, yeah, really, yeah, you can't much. go wrong. And um, so we've been very experimental with percussion instruments, homemade percussion. So here I've got a plastic bottle with some dried lentils in. And I like to move it slowly.
but you can be as creative and experimental as you like. You can make um, thunder using wobble boards. Now this is just a piece of paper that would be gentle breeze. But you could get yourself some card to make it louder. Oh, yes. You could get yourself some tin foil that would make a different sound again. Yes. Or some crinkly um, baking paper. So yes. anything you've got in the house can be used to make a soundscape. Yes. We can have some fun creating things. Yes. And yesterday with um, a group of violin players, we were thinking about def different techniques, Ooh. how we wouldn't normally play the violin. Oh, using the wood of the yes, bow. Yes, we were the using the it? wood of the bow. Yeah. Um, we were doing lots of sliding. Oh, nice. So yes, get your thinking caps on and you can do what you like. Yeah, Make you can your use own real instruments, of course. Sunscape. It doesn't Absolutely. have to be homemade instruments, it can be something you already play. And one thing we were talking about also was a soundscape can either be fully planned out, mm -hmm. you can write it down however you like, graphic score, make up your own symbols, or it can be completely improvised. Oh, yes, but I think we'll all enjoy watching the video later on yes. that shows the people from Horton Academy and the wonderful musicians in um, the Orchestra of Opera, Opera North That's doing nice. their soundscape. It's very, very effective. So after the soundscape, um, it can either be a solo voice or a group singing by the tree and then at the hill. And it always uses the same tune, doesn't it? it does. Does. So we've got this creepy background. about before so you have this lovely smooth melody goes like this Whether Now the next bit is nearly the same as 
as before. Mm. So the words are, here our journeys just begun, shaped by land, made by hand, overcome. Mm. Have a listen then, it's your turn. Here we go. Here our journeys just begun, shaped by land, who sang that last phrase really, really loud, and then we decided actually, so carry our dreams home, she needs to be much quieter and gentle and just finish softly. So what our future holds, two, three. What the future holds is Holds is unknown. One, two, breathing in, three. What the future holds is unknown. So carry, so carry our dreams home. Now, then, when we sing later, this is the instrumental with the guitar. Oh, that's okay. Should we sing that one all the way through, do you think? All of the folky bit? We could just sing the bits. Where the river does run to me. Okay, make sure you're still sat up tall, you're still sat down, aren't you? So just make sure you're sat well for taking those deep breaths in. One, two, three. Where the river does run to me. From a past out to the sea. Time flows by, time flows by with secrets untold. At the river's mouth, at the river's mouth, they unfold.
this song already have a go singing all of that section with us and if you're still just in the process of learning just have a listen sing what you can and the words are on the screen when we do this song later so everyone will be able to sing with full voice confidently knowing they're singing the right words there <laughs> we'll sing you a song of the river sit up tall let's get those top notes in here we go we'll sing you a song of the river Remember, this is a starting point, and your school can do, do this as you wish. So, shall we go all the way through that one mm -hmm. to demonstrate? Because it's basically um, one group going first. So, at school yesterday, we had all of the year fives doing the first part, what we might call the call, and all of the year sixes doing the second bit. So, you could divide that up however you like. If it's just one class doing this project, you could just split into two groups. Mm -hmm. You can do it however you like. Have a listen, and if you've already learned this, have a practice. So the first so part's going to start on that note, cool. and then the second part's going to come in a little bit later on that note, just so if you feel like a really low sing today, you can take, come along with me on the second part. If you're feeling a little bit higher, join Mrs. Hibbard on the first part. It's not very high, it's just a no. little bit higher. Mm -hmm.
same tune from before and later on we'll have the words on the screen and I think we can leave that section. I'm just aware of the time and we're having lots of fun. <laughs> and there's just one little bit where there's one high note left oh, yes. you. So instead of starting on, we'll sing you a song, there's one bit where it goes, we'll sing you a song. Yes, yeah, that's that sing of two sing waters together. So you get excited at that point, don't we? Just Absolutely. Now I think it's time um, to go over, I've, I've been given um, a gesture from someone from our technical team <laughs> to say that we need to show this beautiful video now. Oh, yes. So this is where we can all rest our voices, see how this song was put together. You'll see a lot of the inspiration, see how the, the orchestra of Opera North um, really used their experimental skills to, to put this all together and then enjoy singing um, at the end of the video. So if everyone sits down for now, but then about eight minutes in, you will see it, it looks as though something else is starting and it will say Song of the Skirt. That's when everyone needs to stand up and we will all sing that together and bring the river alive. Keep on here and um, after the video, we'll come back um, and say well done and goodbye. So enjoy the video. See you in a few minutes. Song of the Skern is certainly a piece for the people who created it um, and it's a very personal experience for them but it's absolutely a piece for everyone because I think it reflects the shared experience that the entire planet has had over the last year. Singing it's sort of like it's expression of words that you can't say in any other way so say if you want to get out an emotion that you can't really express through speaking to a person, through conversation, you put it in a song and that's how the best songs ever were actually made. This uh, project was an absolute eye-opener to what the children wanted to get from this project and to clean the river up themselves. We were delighted in 2019, a local landscape partnership called Discover Brightwater rang up the Hippodrome and said, we need to do a music project with some young people, can you help us? At which point um, we all sat in the, the cafe at Arlington Hippodrome and dreamed up the song of the skirt. So the students had to start by learning some facts about the skern and investigating more about the history of the area and we then drew patterns and then laid the patterns over top of the stave paper so that we could see what the melody might do. Well we've come to Leeds Town Hall today and we brought together the Orchestra of Opera North to record a new piece, the Song of the Skern, which has been created by students from Horton Academy in Darlington and they've been working together with a composer, Sarah Freestone, um, a lyricist, Katie Doherty, um, a couple of musicians from our orchestra. They've been really inspired by the River Skern, their local river, and the students have created their own lyrics, and they've created their own music, working together with the artists. So we're really fortunate in Darlington, Orchestra's Live have got some really strong partners in the Hippodrome team and Durham Music Service um, who cover Darlington as well and we've brought them together on this project, bring, each bringing our strengths. Simple things like numbers, we used a date from the bridge, the railway bridge which is the longest continuous use railway bridge in the world, still going, 
1825. So we put those as musical intervals. One would be C, eight would also be C because the octave goes to eight notes. And then the two would be D and the five would be G. And that gave us those four notes. So that's the starting point. And we talked about different effects. Um, and luckily, uh, Chris, the percussionist from Opera North, uh, gave us a fabulous demo of all kinds of um, weird and wonderful ways that you can sort of recreate or not recreate, emulate the sound. So it's it's different from sound effects. So we needed to give them a little bit of a head start. So I created a few little videos with home home instruments, um, water being the obvious one. And I think from that day on, the kids picked up with the ideas. We've been working with professional um, sound producers, professional singers and coaches just to help us improve and um, to help us know what we need to be doing. It's been absolutely brilliant and, and quite, quite different as well. Different anyway in compared to what we normally do at Opera North, but different especially in the current pandemic circumstances where, you know, I mean the recording session today this is only about the third or fourth time in the space of 12 months that we've all been here together unmasked um, and really bringing the uh, students' ideas to life. It's, um, it's quite emotional and it's very, very different and really enjoyable, enjoyable different. So unfortunately, as we were about to be uh, physically in the room with the young people, um, we were told that we were not able to and the project, very luckily, uh, moved online which uh, took a great deal of logistical um, trickery to make it happen, but hugely grateful that it did. So the, the process itself, it didn't change because what we do is we listen to music and we analyse music and we talk about music and then we think about where our ideas can come from and we develop those ideas and exactly the same thing happens online. The young people also had many, many ideas about the river as a metaphor for, and we've, we've heard this before with composers, they, people like using river because it flows and it carries and uh, it continues. Um, but the young people were so thoughtful about how um, the river, the structure of the river and the direction of the river so that, that we have these sort of three layers and we put everything into a musical context as well, that you have the river that you see on the top like a sort of melody and then you have the body of the river underneath and then what's beneath the river that's kind of supporting it that we don't even know is there so we were able to talk about that musically but as a metaphor for for them at the stage of life that they're at and particularly at the moment where everything's on pause everything's held and stagnant and yet things are continually flowing and they just they came up with some just really really very moving ideas that we were able to use within the piece Well, this is my first school visit in about 18 months or something, so it feels very surreal. I think at a time when singing effectively has been demonised and when it's been sort of barred for so many children and for so many adults as well, the, the fact that they're able to now do it, it's just been a wonderful experience. It's been sorely missing over the past year. The song is all about the journey the river takes and we basically over the last two months we've been like making it. I'm planning for like in which instruments to use. It means a lot to them, the words that they, they said. It, it really did come from the heart and I think that really comes through. I love the song. There were moments today when I had little shivers. Um, I know Katie's work very well and Sarah's work and it's just come together beautifully. Just, I guess it's just being a part of something that is being created. You just sort of feel good about yourself trying to contribute to it. The advantage of this is that it's there forever. There will be a live performance as planned later on in the year with the orchestra and the local community. But this film, this version of the piece means that it's out there for so many more people to hear and hopefully be inspired by. Yeah, music basically sings what can't be said in words.
hi, we're back again. Wasn't that fantastic? Yeah, I right. love that video. And all those pictures of different places up the skirt and throughout the seasons. It was really beautiful. And I hope you all enjoyed singing along. Can you imagine what it must have sounded I like? Hope the roofs were raised, yeah. the rivers are flowing a bit faster now. <laughs> so, I hope you feel as though you know this song really, really well now. And if you haven't already thought of some sort of video that you can do, now you feel inspired to do your own soundscape and record the song. And we would love to hear it. The um, producers at Opera North would love to hear it and orchestras live, they would love to see how this project is being taken on by the schools. So please um, get, get going and share with us on your school website, on social media, tweet du uh, Trust Durham at Trust Durham. At Trust Durham. Um, we've got our DMS Facebook page as well. Or you could just send it to me, send it to Mrs Hibbard. And we look forward to seeing what you've been up to. Well done and thank you very much. Thank you for being with us today. And we're looking forward to seeing the actual um, live performance of this with our youth choirs on Sunday. So we're uh, really excited about that. So thanks for being with us today to, to help us get it, to know it a little bit better. Yeah. The youth choirs are singing at Darlington Hippodrome with the orchestras of Opera North this yes, Sunday. Did. And <laughs> Mrs Woods wanted to tell you all a little bit about the youth choir just in case anybody has enjoyed singing would like to join us. So if you're in year five upwards, we have youth choirs for, for everybody from year five upwards. We have um, a, the training choir, which happens from uh, four until 5.15 on a Thursday. So we're there tonight, aren't we, at Elbert Methodist Church in Durham. And if you want any more details, you can go to our website. For older children, if you've got older brothers or sisters, um, the youth choir is from five until seven, also at Elbert Methodist Church. So they do overlap, so we get to sing together a bit as well. And we're doing this project together on Sunday, so we're really excited. Yeah. We get lots of nice opportunities. Yes, we do. We, we like really it. Do. So a big thank you to Discover Brightwater, Opera North, Orchestras Live, and all of you lot. Thanks for being here. Brilliant. Bye-bye. <laughs>